Welcome back to another episode of Monday Drive Bag. Hello, everyone. Today we're making lemonade. <laughs> uh huh. Um, today we're gonna. I'm gonna start making our lemonade while we do Monday Grab Bag questions. This is definitely the wrong knife. Just do your best. Well, we, it's working. We don't have a lemon peeler. No, and if you, we don't have a peeler at all. Uh, and if you see me cut my hand off, it'll be more exciting for you. So we're telling two birds with one stone by doing Monday Grub Bag, the series where we answer all of your most burning out questions wow. about our life and relationship. We still managed to get that in. At the same time as we met Lemonade, because we've been very busy lately. Yep. My parents are visiting yep. from Pennsylvania, yep. and we've been doing non-stop activities with them. Oh, oh, oh. Did you set yourself? No. Oh my god. Um, a lemon peel. My heart just Down jumped my out. Jumped out of my chest. I hope that that was visible on camera. That I just peeled and the lemon peel went down between my boobs. That was my a, shirt. Way better than what I thought happened. Yeah. I'm I sorry. heard. Oh, oh. <laughs> anyway, a lot of our older videos have like gotten into the algorithm again. So there have been thousands of new people watching our channel, and as you can imagine, that has led to a lot of. Comments. Comments. Questions. Questions. Mm -hmm. Here are a handful. All right, so the first question that we have selected, how much do you weigh, Shane, since your wife carries you around everywhere? <laughs> now, I would love to know which video you watched that gave you the impression that I carry Shane around what? everywhere. One of our short videos is you putting me in a pool. Uh, Actually, two of them are, yeah. and they're getting like millions of views right now. They probably think that you just, that's your mode of transportation anywhere. Yeah, so that is not my main <laughs> mode of transportation. Normally, I ride on her back. <laughs> she gets down on all fours. I lie or sit on her back. Uh, we tend to strap me in like I'm riding an elephant, uh, and I can steer her. You know, kind of using the my hair well, usually left or hair right. left or right ear I pinch if she turns in that direction. Now I use a wheelchair uh, normally to get around, and I weigh probably about sixty pounds. Yeah, which makes it easy for him to lift me in and out of my chair, into a bed, into a pool, yep. into the shower. But that is definitely just a transportation, like between two places. <laughs> right. And not like the store at home. <laughs> Hannah, I would like to go for a walk on the block. Will you pick me up, please? <laughs> All right, next question. Next question. How's that lemonade done? It's good. I haven't cut myself yet. I accidentally put my completed lemon in. I'm, I'm a little bit. She's frazzled. I'm frazzled, everyone. everybody. Uh, how did you guys meet? And are you really a couple? Oh, I'll answer the second half. <laughs> yes, we are really a couple. That's a great question. I feel like if we weren't, we might not answer that honestly. Um, but we we actually happen to be a real couple. We happen to be. We've been married for over two years. No. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god, 2020, you're right. Wow. <laughs> She's about to correct me. I was about to correct you because you're always wrong, but you were actually right. And I know that we told the story about how we met many times. This person probably didn't see that video. Yeah, we have a full video on how we met, but the short answer is that we met uh, about almost exactly seven years ago now, uh, when I saw a documentary on YouTube, a little like 10 minute documentary that one of my favorite actors, Rain Wilson from The Office, put on his YouTube channel. And it was a documentary about Shane's life generally. And he talked about the nonprofit that he ran. All the very important work I was doing. All the work time. he was doing. Yeah, it's gone downhill from there. Uh, that is and so mean. I felt like we would really, really get along. And I lived in Minnesota. He lived in Pennsylvania. There was no chance of us meeting in person. I emailed him, which was really weird for me to do. Uh, like personality-wise, I've yeah, never emailed of, a stranger. Very out of character for Hannah. Yeah, but I was just like, oh my God, I need to know this person. I feel like we would get along so well. And we did. So we began FaceTiming. After we texted for like a day, we FaceTimed the next day. And then I visited two months later. Yep. And we have been together as a couple ever since then. I think some people have the impression that like you reached out to me and that your first email was like, hello, would you like to get married? <laughs> but it was or just... want to make a YouTube channel? <laughs> yeah. But it, well, actually, we'll get to that. I have another yeah. question about that. But yeah, her first email was very casual but yeah when i read it i was like oh wow we do have a lot in common let's like talk yeah you know for fun and then we fell in love 
Yeah, it was very, what? I mean, there was no chance of us dating. It was very, very inconvenient that we were dating because we were a thousand miles apart. Yeah. Worst two years of our lives being, uh, yeah. being so long distance. And best two years. And best two years, but, you know, the long distance was horrible. So it was not an ideal situation uh, by any means. No, but we, uh, that's how we met and we've been living together for, what, five years now, I think? Yeah, five years, like, exactly, because you moved in two years exactly after we met, so. Yeah. We live in Minnesota. In Minneapolis, right now we're out in Los Angeles for a few months. Yeah. Uh, but that's kind of where we're at. Yes. All right, next question. Is that girl on drugs? She is on drugs. Uh, she takes a daily allergy medication. Zyrtec. Zyrtec. Yep. Otherwise, no. Are there side effects of that? Mental instability that would cause me to date such a terrible, terrible partner? <laughs> Does not like alcohol, even. Like, they'll not have even alcohol. That's true. I am, I am truly not intoxicated at any time that you see me. I do no. not drink. She entered into a relationship yeah. with me of sound mind and body. I know. Even though I was not of sound mind or body. Isn't that something? It's crazy. Uh, why do you look like Stephen Hawking? Is that in the Hannah, I assume? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just confused because you don't at all look like Stephen Hawking. Like in I mean, any way. Yeah, it, in a very, like, we both use a wheelchair, uh -huh. we both have muscle atrophy. Oh, that's, um, a, that's all there, yeah. You look like Toy, like the Woody from Toy Story, I feel like. I do get that a lot. Or Sid from Toy Story, depending on your haircut. That's and beside depending, the point. And depending on my mood. Your mood. Am I feeling mischievous? <laughs> um, anyway, Stephen Hawking and I have different disabilities, but they are similar. Yeah. He had ALS. Um, and I have SMA, they both cause muscle atrophy and weakness over time. Yes. I am a bit smarter than Stephen Hawking was, <laughs> um, but that, yeah, that's the main difference between you two. That's the main difference. Yeah. Uh, he discovered a lot of like space stuff, but I like to focus more on antimatter, uh, and... I would say you're more of like a creative genius. I think you could put yourself above Stephen Hawking in creativity. But Stephen Hawking and I both wrote a poem. Uh, I think mine might be a little better. <laughs> oh my god. But rest in peace, Stephen Hawking. And also, Shane is joking, everybody. Oh, yeah, I feel I like hope... people are going to be like, he's so rude to think that he is more creative than Stephen Hawking. Stephen Hawking is the most brilliant human being. Yeah, ever. these are jokes. <laughs> Just so you know. Uh, what I'd like to know is, dot, 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 how long after they started dating was this account created Ooh. our youtube channel so as we kind of hinted at we began all of our kind of youtube stuff a little bit before we even met <laughs> um and uh no i'm kidding uh we did not begin i had the account created and saved and i was waiting for the correct disabled person to come along the perfect victim yeah i was waiting will. for the perfect person to exploit uh, so, I created the account 14 years ago. <laughs> You've been waiting for this moment since you were nine. <laughs> anyway, no, we, the, the idea to make a YouTube didn't even hurt us until two, was it two or three years. It was years. two and a half years after we met, we began our YouTube channel. It was and that was very casual. That was, we had actually made a video of a trip that we did together, and if you've seen our videos, you know this. Um, but we made a vlog of a trip that we took together the year before, before we even lived together, and we didn't post it. It was a it was a video that we enjoyed making. We sent it to our parents. Yeah. We since have lost it on a computer that crashed. We have all the footage, but not the yeah. final editing. Product. We could recreate it, but it was edited very cutely. <laughs> uh, so like we've just enjoyed making videos, and then uh, the next year we made another vlog of a road trip, and we were like, why don't we just put this one online so we can send our parents the link easier. Uh, instead of file dropping this, and then we just began posting videos that summer, and it didn't burp. take off. I have to burp so badly. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, backfired. All right. The channel didn't take off for about six months, and then it did, which is honestly very, very quick in terms of like typical YouTube channel stuff. Yeah. But yeah, two years, two, two and a half years. Yeah, we were that. long distance for those two years, 
rest of the visits in between. Well, um, I'll visit like every month. Well, yeah, a lot of visits. A lot of visits. Uh, we couldn't, we couldn't stay away. Yeah. Um, it's very expensive juniors. And then we lived together for a few months, and then we had the idea, hey, let's like make videos. Yeah. Um. So that's how we did it. Yeah. If you have not noticed, a lot of the new people watching are beginning at the point of kind of not believing that we are a real loving couple yeah uh, and that's really based on the idea that i use a wheelchair and have a disability that requires care and hannah is not disabled and therefore why would we be together in yeah. these people's minds our channel is intended to show you that our relationship our love our marriage our life is no different no worse than any other non-disabled relationship. Mm -hmm. We hope that you'll take the time to watch all of our videos to learn that for yourself uh, and maybe think a little bit differently about disability. Maybe a little bit more positively. Yeah, that was a nice speech, Shane. I would not like a lemon squirted in both of my eyeballs. To cleanse after that, after reading those comments. Thank you, everyone. I feel like I just need to say something about this lemonade, though. Oh. Because I feel like people are going to be like, why are you peeling the lemons? Don't you think? They might be. Shouldn't we say something about the lemonade? I, I feel was like we're going to get comments that are like, what? I, I thought it would be funny if we ignored the fact that you're making lemonade the whole time. Well, but I'm not going to gatekeep the world's best lemonade recipe. We'll put a link to a recipe that we've been making a lot recently. Yes. It is the most delicious lemonade. You can make it. But you have to macerate. The uh, uh, the peels, the onion. I was gonna say the lemon peels. And when you don't have a peeler, like my hand is hurting. This is a very difficult process. Anyway, we'll link to the recipe if you'd like to make it yourself. It's very good. And with that, with that, Monday grub bag comes to an end. We'll be back maybe next Monday. Hopefully, these come out usually every Monday. Yeah. Unless we're really busy. Yes. But we'll have our next podcast out right here on Wednesday. Yep. Okay, goodbye.